Hey guys, and welcome to this video. So I've been asked a lot about how I learned um, discrete mathematics, you know, things like logical expressions, things like big old notation, and um, about how long did it take me and what what you guys can do to learn it yourself and get better at it. And what I ended up doing was buying two books because the school book wasn't good enough for me and I needed more practice. So the two books I bought are right here. One's called Discrete Mathematics Workbook by James R. Bush. And the other is called Practice Problems in Discrete Mathematics by Bojan um, O'Brenick. So let's take a look in here. So you can see here I have um, the propositions and logic page. And it's really cool. You can see a lot of different examples. Um, about propositions and logic. Let's keep flipping around here. Um, here we have tautologies and contradictions. So it gives you the definition of a tautology, the definition of a contradiction, and then asks you to, uh, or shows an example of a truth table of a tautology, and then even shows examples of four famous tautologies. So that's pretty cool. These are just examples, of course, but then later on, if we keep flipping, we can see that we get exercises. So now you can practice these problems with what you learned, which is really cool. And it's not just one or two examples. These are many, many practice problems. And then in the back, they have the answers. So let me uh, move back here. So yeah, here you go. So you can see answers to chapter two exercise. They give you the answers in the back. So you can double check your answers and things like that with this answer key. And let's take a look at the other book, which is practice problems in discrete mathematics. So I also really like this book. It's a little bit different. Um, it gives you practice problems and then gives you the answers uh, right there. You don't have to go to the back of the book for the answers. But it has pretty cool stuff, you know, recursive defini uh, definitions, uh, recursive functions. Um, let's see here, let's go in the back. I, I like this one page a lot. This is a page on algorithm analysis and asymptotic order of functions. So things like big O, little O, um, big omega, little omega, and theta. And it has all these practice problems to help you understand what it means for a function to be big O or big theta or any of those asymptotic functions. So these were the two books that really, really helped me out a lot while I was taking discrete mathematics and um, I hope that they'll help you guys out. I'll be sure to put a link in the description so you guys can get the books yourself. And as always, thank you guys for watching my videos and I see you guys in the next video.